What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today, Bungie showed off weapons from three weapon foundries that will be prominent in Destiny's upcoming expansion, The Taken King. These new weapons will function a bit differently than what we're used to in Destiny. First of all, depending on the foundry or manufacturer that a specific weapon comes from, it will have a differently shaped perk grid. Hake will feature more options to the left where sights are found. Omelon Legendaries will be the only to offer three perks, one as the first non-scope upgrade and two as a binary choice in the final column. And Suros will offer two columns of two perk choices, allowing you to customize the gun to suit your needs. Hake will be front loaded with more perks geared towards sights. These perks will be focused on offensive actions and combat tactics. Hake Pulse Rifles will fire four round bursts instead of three and have a shorter delay between bursts. Their design philosophy will be hammers, not scalpels. Relatable design hearkening back to a lost era. Hake is not about exciting form, it is about exciting function. A weapon's weapon. Hake is the instrument of the people. Omelon are the pioneers, the bleeding edge of technology. Their weapons are energy based and start with generous handling stats. Perk selection favors perks that are energy based and or go beyond the weapon to interact with the wielder's abilities or status. That's right, weapons that synergize with the abilities of your guardian. Their design philosophy is experimental, bordering on irresponsible. Powered by barely understood technology, a fusion of the mad scientist and a product engineer of the new frontier. Hallmark is the liquid ammo displays and Omelon power cells. Omelon is the future return. Suros will be the most flexible. They will make weapons that can be repurposed for a variety of combat situations. They will offer perks that change the nature of a weapon. For example, if you want a gun that can flex from close quarters combat to ranged by swapping a few nodes, Suros has you covered. The Suros design philosophy is, this is my sword. Function is a given, it must be given form. Design is honored precision. Every curve, every line, every chamfer speaks to the Suros philosophy. But that's not all, Guardians. In the Taken King, classes will have their own guns. That means your favorite gun for your Warlock may not be nearly as good for your Titan, or he may not be able to even use it. There will be more quests for new guns, and the Gunsmith will serve a brand new purpose, including you in his Enterprise. All said and done, I think this shows a bright future for the direction Destiny is headed. More customization, more lore, more integration, all of these things are very exciting. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think and what your favorite foundry will be. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.